Coming up next week, discussions focus on the Brussels attacks, radicalization, web accessibility, and a mini plenary. Welcome to the agenda. Kicking things off, a mini plenary will be held in Brussels on Wednesday and Thursday, and they're taking centre stage the fourth railway package and the implementation of the EU-Turkey agreement. Also on the two-day plenary agenda, protection of children, gender equality, the discharge of the EU 2014 budget, and calls to make attacks on schools and hospitals a violation of human rights. In the aftermath of the attacks in Brussels, the spotlight fell on Belgium's fragmented society. But have the attacks divided or imbued people with a greater sense of solidarity? Last Sunday, at a rally titled A March Against Terror and Hatred, thousands took to the streets in a march of solidarity in Brussels. At the Parliament on Tuesday, a discussion looks at ways to prevent radicalisation. Invited guests include interfaith groups, representatives from the think tank European Muslim Network, Ed Hussein, the author of The Islamist, and a mother whose child went to Syria. Watch out for the debate on Tuesday. It is very useful for us also. Two Belgian ministers at the centre of the fight against terrorism come to the Parliament. The Interior Minister Yann Yambon, along with the Belgian Justice Minister Kuhn Gens, will join MEPs at a debate on the terror attacks at the Civil Liberties Committee on Monday. And now for some news in brief. Having farmed out refugee management to Turkey, plans are now underway to have an EU-wide safe country of origin list. Refugees could then be sent back to their country if it's deemed not dangerous. The first debate on the draft report is on Thursday. Tuesday sees a vote to back an EU Commission report calling for countries to share information on multinationals with a revenue of 750 million euros. Continuing efforts to protect the environment, a vote on a proposal to put a cap on emissions for non-road vehicles takes place on Tuesday. And finally, figures suggest that 167 million EU citizens still have problems accessing public websites to do basic things such as filling in their tax returns. So how to make websites more user-friendly, and especially for those who are disabled or elderly? A trial look between negotiators from the Parliament and Member States takes place late on Tuesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.